Beste sportliefhebbers, beste jumpingliefhebbers, beste ponyliefhebbers. Goedemiddag. Welkom. Welkom. Back to the action here in Mechelen. We have seen some of the world's very best. The Dressage World Cup Grand Prix earlier this morning and then the five-star Agora Trophy in the world well, that's show jumping. But what is tremendous about the show here in Mechelen is that it does so much to promote the future and the youth, not only the young horses that we've seen featuring here this week, but also the young riders. And the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy is a series that runs alongside some of the world's biggest equestrian events into the early winter season. From the likes of Herning, Stuttgart, Lyon, Salzburg, these young riders have had the opportunity to test their mettle alongside some of the world's very best. And it culminates here with the final in Mechelen. We saw leg one yesterday. Now the draw for leg two that we're going to see here this afternoon is in reverse order of merit from their scores in round one yesterday. So the winner of leg one, Francis Brun Favre in Copa de Len, they are last to go in the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here this afternoon. It was a table C competition yesterday where we added three seconds on for each fence knocked down, but this one is a jump off competition. So all those that go clear in the first round of competition will then be back for a subsequent jump off against the clock. Bart Vonk and Eddie Geisman have set the track and it is fences one, two, 12. 15 jumping efforts, a double and a triple combination out on course. 18 stars of the future feature here in the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen. And we start with a young lady riding for the Netherlands. 16 years of age, this is her final year in the pony ranks. This is Noah Fransen. She picked up two victories in Salzburg and went on to finish eighth in the Grand Prix there. She was a winner in Herning and on the Dutch Nations Cup team in Centaur earlier this season. Noah Fransen, first to go, riding the 12-year-old gelding. This is Piotr van der groen Huvel for the Netherlands. Well, that triple combination coming very early in the course for A, B, and C. Vertical, Oxa to vertical. Double a little later in the course, 8A and 8B, but there's some big technical fences out there for these young jockeys to jump here this afternoon. 1 meter 35, the height of the fences. The pony's only 148, 14 2 in old money. Good start to the round though. Jumps that vertical at 10, the water tray beneath. Then the Oxa, then that delicate plank, the final fence, which she gives a little rattle, but it stays 69.54. She didn't have the round she wanted yesterday in the speed competition, but it's all gone to plan here. And you can see what it means to her, Noah Fransen, jumping the clear, the young lady from the Netherlands with Piotr van der groen Huvel to give us the first clear of the competition here, the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. 69.54, time allowed 72 seconds. So there we have it, the first clear of the competition for Noah Fransen. But now, the next to go is for Belgium. This is Xander Lambar and O'Lily the fifth. It's a nine-year-old mare. Partnered Xander to uh, some good placings. of late third in the Grand Prix of Dunkirk and sixth in the Grand Prix of Salzburg. Here 
near a sigh from the Belgian crowd because their home rider has faulted early in the course. So this final line, vertical ox, a vertical final fence, of course, the plank. He faults at the moment for Xander Lamberts. Our plank goes as well. I don't think it'll be the last time we see that final fence go score a 12 for Xander. And O'Lilly, the fifth. That very delicate, lightweight plank on top of the flat cups. It's going to take a very careful pony to jump that successfully. But we continue on. Back to the Netherlands. They've already got one in the jump off. Can they double their chances of winning the Jumping Ponies trophy here this afternoon? This is the 15 year old Renske van Middendorp and the 11 year old gelding Dollevoy, the second. 15 years of age, but already she's ridden at two Pony European Championships earlier this year and back in 2021 where she helped the Dutch team to the silver medal. Racing's this winter season in Herning, Lyon and Stuttgart. Put a fence down there so it's not to be Varenska van Middendorp. A jumping faults, no trouble with the time allowed. You could see there the pony just beginning to run away ever so slightly. Dollar Boy, the second. Renske van Middendorp having to work really hard towards the end of the round to keep everything in check, but finishing on the eight there. So three gone and one clear that for the Netherlands, Noah Fransen and Piotr van de Groenhuvel. Strong field of Irish riders competing here this week, though. And this is uh, Lauren Adams. She's now 15 years of age, riding for Dale Adams with the 10 year old Sleeve Bloom Bella Rose. Won the Grand Prix in Salzburg. Fourth in the Pony Grand Prix in Centaur and in Hagen earlier this year. That Pony Grand Prix taking place in Hagen back in July. And the summertime seems like a very long time ago. For that Grand Prix victory in Salzburg, give her plenty of confidence coming here to Mechelen. It's a great innovation. So these young riders get the opportunity to work alongside and compete alongside the world's very best. And this is so far so good for Lauren Adams with one to jump to send it through to a jump off against the clock. And she's done just that 60.84. Very quick first round. Can she be equally as quick in the jump off? We'll find out because she's guaranteed a spot. We've got two heading through. The Netherlands, Noah Franson and now Ireland's Lauren Adams. Really good round there for Lauren Adams to guarantee us a jump off, and that's what we wanted more than anything here this afternoon in Mechelen. But it's the uh, turn of the German now, Raphael Reichart Eisenhart, 14 years of age. He's a young rider with the 20 year old Casino Royale. Very, very successful pony, this based in England and Scotland for a number of years on the Pony Grand Prix at the Horse of the Year show. 
on several occasions, twice in succession, with former jockey Shawnee Gregg. With Raphael, they were third in the Grand Prix of Salzburg and fourth in Centaur. Gets in close to that plank, but the pony's so careful and so clever. And there's a punch of the air there from Rafael Reichardt Eisenhardt because he's through to that jump off as well. And these riders early in the draw didn't have the best of rounds yesterday in the first leg here in Mechelen, but they are really putting the record straight here this afternoon. So five gone, and we've got three in the jump off. Noah Franson, Lauren Adams, Rafael Reichardt Eisenhardt. But it's Ireland once more now. And this is Abby Oakley. Abby now 16 years of age, so this is her final year in uh, ponies before moving on to the juniors and then young riders that follow. Abby Oakley here with Boutard Stetamel, 12 year old mare. Second in Salzburg, but a winner earlier in the series in Herning. there refusal and the Oaks are off the corner we're back on track now the second time of asking over that 72 second time allowed plank goes as well of course one time penalty for every commence second over the time allowed so finishing there on 15 islands abioki and butard stay amal to be clear at the moment netherlands ireland and Germany. Already. Looks like we're in for a treat of a jump off against the clock. Still to come today. That, uh, under 25 Grand Prix and the KVC Bank and Visa Cutting Trophy as well. More five star action. But that was the bell for the youngest rider featuring here this week. 12 years of age, Robin Vermeer and Crystal Sparkle Van Beekveld. Robin, in fact, celebrating her 13th birthday tomorrow. She celebrated in star with a victory here. Of course, the Vermeer family know exactly what it takes to pick up a big victory here in Mechelen. Robin's father, Wilm, winner of the World Cup qualifier here 12 months ago, but there's an early rail down for Robin here today. Another fence falling as well. Had some good results on the circuit already. She was individual fourth at the Pony European Championships in Le Mans earlier this year. But she's coming down to the final fence on a score of eight, and that's where she stays. Eight there for 12-year-old Robin Vermeer and Crystal Sparkle van Beekebel. Twee springfouten gemaakt in een tijd van 
Well, the bell sounds for the next. And this is Zoe Marachal. Berlioz Denan, 12-year-old Gaudi by Cantis Ronaldo. That a successful sire of uh, pony sport horses. Zoe, who was third and fourth in Stuttgart, a double winner in Fontainebleau earlier in the year as well on home soil for France. Zoe Marchal, Berlioz Denan. Well, we had the three clear from the first five in the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here this afternoon, but clear is now proving hard to come by. Run without one. Just the plank to go for Zoe Marachal. For fault 63-63 there for her, and it's the three clear still. Noah France and Lauren Adams, Raphael Reichardt, Eisenhardt. Another for France, though. The second of the two. We'll see in just a moment's time, 15-year-old Gitan or Hart. Eight-year-old by Corner Toblensky. That, of course, a sire of some of the world's very best horses at the moment. So siring this pony here, eight years of age. French Cornet, Dodeval, Gaetan Orhan. Ninth in the Grand Prix on home soil in Lyon back in November. Big, big jump up into the air over that Oxa, but lost a little bit of forward momentum and pays the price as the bat bar falls there. So another here on the four faults, 67-62. It's a slower four fault round as well from Gaetan or Hunt and a French Cornet Dodeval. So Zoe Marochal sits in fourth at the moment as the fastest four, then the three clear. The Netherlands, Noah Franson, Ireland's Lauren Adams and Germany's Raphael Reichardt Eisenhardt. Nine gone, nine left to go in the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen. This next combination, ride for Sweden, as they did when they won the Grand Prix in Herning, and as they did on the Nations Cup team in Centaur earlier in the year. Another of the younger riders featuring the 13-year-old Vigo Bergstrand and Gelf Maralad. Gardens for Valandra and Plank to complete 66. 66. Four for Sweden's Vigo Bergstrand 
into fifth place there, Favigo and Gail Mara Lad. Well, the Netherlands have one through to the Jamboff, Noah Fransen and Piotr van der Groen Huvel, but now they look to take another one through. Three clear so far, but you wouldn't bet against this being clear round number four. Ava Eden van Grunsven and Special Lady. Ava in her final year in uh, ponies. Already though she's ridden at three Pony European Championships and brought home silver and bronze medals. She was first and second in Herney and seventh in the Pony Grand Prix of Lyon. She's only 21 years of age but fresh and full of running and you could see the effort through that triple combination to really stretch at the oxer in the middle this is another very quick pony that we would like to see heading through to the jump off of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here this afternoon. Just the plank and she's clear. Two for the Netherlands and it's four in total now. Clear there for Ava, Eden van Grunsven and Special Lady. Special Lady indeed jumping clear round number four here in Mechelen. What a jump off. We're in for here this afternoon. Noah France and Lauren Adams, Raphael Reichardt, Eisenhardt and Eva Eden van Grunsven. But there's still seven to go. Seven left to join us in round number one. This young man is for Ireland. 15-year-old Jack Cash, Queena van Gistelhoff. Fourth in the Salzburg Grand Prix. A winner in Herning, second in Fontainebleau. Side from the crowd, fence down for Ireland's Jack Cash. Four faults there, 65, 33. Four faults for Jack Cash and four riders heading through to the jump off of the FEI. Jumping Ponies Trophy here this afternoon. Another for the Netherlands now. The Dutch riders in tremendous form. They've got two through to the jump off and look to make it a hat trick in that round against the clock. This is Bethany Voss and still got me. Fourth in the Grand Prix of Lyon, but she went on to win the Masters in Herning. Member of the Pony Team, the European Championships that won the Bronze Medal last summertime. A little bit of pressure on there.
Now for the final line, but the penultimate fence is gone. Leaves the plank standing, but a score of four for Bethany Voss and still got me. So five left to go, and of course the way that the draw is worked out, the best five from yesterday's speed competition. The winner of that speed class, Francis Brun Favre and Copper Delen, their last to go. But this is the combination that were fifth. Another for Ireland, the partnership that won the Grand Prix in Lyon and recorded victories in Stuttgart and Lichtenford as well. Kian Dorr and the 10-year-old Sparkling Lacamoire Joey. Big winner in the series already. Missed out yesterday. Could he win it here in Mechelen? Two fences between Kian Dorr and the jump off here this afternoon. And he's going through. 64.04, one of the quickest young riders on the circuit, clear round number five to Ireland's Kian Dorr, sparkling Lacamoire Joey. Ireland through once more. Lauren Adams already clear for Ireland. She's now joined by fellow countryman Kian Dorr. Four left to go. Fourth yesterday, and the only rider for Finland in the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen. It is the turn of Vera Salminen, Nero van der Buchstal, 14-year-old gelding. Partnered Vera Pony European Championships earlier this year. She actually rode at the Children on Horses European Championships last summertime. Already making the transition onto horses, beating riders 10 years her senior in Lichtenvoort to the under 25 Grand Prix there. have finished better placed yesterday towards the end of the draw and would very much be the favourites here. Just started a little bit to the right to that Oxer at nine. Just the plank. And there we've got another 65-88 clear round number six. Finland through now, Vera Salmonen, and Nero van der Buchstal. Really good round for Vera Salmonen. Through they go for Finland. But the final three in round number one today were the top three from yesterday. Third place for this lady from Sweden, Ellen Hammerstrom, with Ocean Day AS. Team and individual silver medalist at the Pony European Championships earlier this year. Third in the Grand Prix of Herning.
to jump. So far, so good. They jumped so well yesterday. And they're really performing today as well. It's another clear. This one, number seven. It's Sweden through this time. Ellen Hammerstrom and Ocean Day AS. So, Noah Franson, Lauren Adams, Raphael Reichart, Eisenhart. Ava Eden van Grunsven, Kian Dor, Vera Salmanen, and Ellen Hammerstrom all heading through with two left to go. One for France, and the next is for Germany. Naomi Himmelreich and Red Star Optimus. Last two years they've ridden at junior European Championships, the third in the Grand Prix of Stuttgart. Back in the summertime, they won the Grand Prix of. Hagen. Seen a few just hesitate on the way to that Luxa, away from the in gate. Just the plank now between Naomi and the jump off, but there's no problems there. She was second yesterday, but she's through to the jump off and she'll be looking to go one better here in the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy in Mechelen. Eight in that jump off. It's going to be fast and furious. It really is because these young jockeys are so competitive. They really are. And there's eight of them heading through. And there could well be nine. Because there's one left to go, and it's the 13 year old for France, Brune Favre. She won the speed class yesterday, and she's here with Copper Delen. Sixth in the Grand Prix in Stuttgart. She rode for the French team at the Pony European Championships on home soil in Le Mans earlier this year. Well, she won yesterday, but it can be a cruel sport on occasions. And fence number three falls there, which means the chance has now gone for Brune Favre to do the double here in Mechelen. Tremendous yesterday, but a score of 8.59.49, two down for Brun Favre and Copper Delen, and they finished the first round on a score of eight. We finished the first round with eight heading through to the jump off against the clock. So the course design team, led by Bart Vonk and Eddie Geismans, will now set that track for the jump off of the Tau FEI Pony Jumping Trophy. Noah Franson will be the first to go. Followed by the first of two for Ireland, Lauren Adams. Germany's Raphael Reichardt Eisenhardt, Ava Eden van Grunsven, Kian Dor, Vera Salmanen, Ellen Hammerstrom, and Naomi Himmelreich. So, Naomi Himmelreich second in the speed class yesterday. She's last to go in the jump off here this afternoon. team begin to set the shortened track as we get ready for the eight to return for the jump off of the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy.
Ladies and gentlemen, the FDI is pleased to welcome you here in Macula for an exciting edition of the FDI Jumping Ponies Trophy Final. After the suspense-filled qualifiers of Herning, Lyon, Stuttgart and Salzburg, we are now here in Macula with those who have made it to the final and by the end of the week we will be crowning the new 2023 champion. Competing at the same shows as the best jumping athletes in the world is a fantastic experience for young athletes and a great opportunity for fans to see them evolve alongside the superstars of our sport. Thank you to the FBI of course and to Peter Bolle and his fantastic team for providing this future generation of athletes with a platform to showcase their talent as they aim for the highest step of the podium here in Macula. A big thank you also to you, the audience, for giving these great young riders your support and encouragement. And to the athletes, the best of luck. Well, it is eight the return for the jump off of the Tau FEI. Jumping Thank Ponies you. Trophy. Jump off that begins at the vertical in the center of the Christmas Arena at fence number six before the left handed curve to the Oxa that follows at seven. Then to the double in this jump off against the clock, the Oxa to vertical towards the in gate, 8A, 8B. Right handed turn, and there's plenty of options inside to the vertical at two. Then it is a change of rain as they land. Again, more options inside as they head to the Oxford at fence number three before a long run down to a new fence in this jump off against the Glock. It's positioned where we saw the Oxer in the triple combination, the B element at four, but it's this time jumps as a vertical against the Glock, so numbered as 14. And then right-handed to finish where we began the first round over the Oxer at fence number one, directly opposite the in gate here in the Neckerhal. 6, 7, 8A, 8B, 2, 3, 14, and 1. And there's a time allowed in the jump off against the clock of 52 seconds. Those that have made it this far, they began the series in Herning. They have then jumped in the likes of Leon, Stuttgart, and Salzburg as well to join us here for the final in Mechelen. And those that left standing here for the jump off against the clock, Lauren Adams will be second to go. It's Noah Franzen to get us underway. And then we'll see Raphael Reichart Eisenhardt, Ava Eden van Grunsven, Kian Dor, Vera Salmanen, Ellen Hammerstrom, and Naomi Himmelreich. But it's Noah Franzen that gets us underway. Our trailblazer in the jump off for the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechlin. Her final year in ponies. This, I'm sure, will be her final show before moving into the junior ranks. Noah Franson for the Netherlands. Piotr van der Groenhuvel. The nerves, the excitement, getting maybe a little bit too much for Piotr van der Groenhuvel as they look to throw down the gauntlet to the seven combinations that follow them in the jump off against the clock. Naomi Himmelreich, of course, with a great opportunity to take the title here this week in Mechelen. Winner of the first leg yesterday. She's last to go in the jump off here this afternoon. De eerste uit Nederland met Piotr van de Groeneuvel, Belgische pony, Nederlandse Amazone, de handen gaan op elkaar voor Noah Fransen. Starting the jump off at the vertical at fence number six. Long run on that left-hand curve to seven. You could see Noah Franson really working hard to keep Piotr van der Groenhevel in check. But that vertical, she went inside, she gambled. I think whoever wins it will take that inside route. 
but there's always a risk with it. And it's four faults now as Noah Franson turns for home. The final fence, the Euro horse Oxer, and that goes as well, 34-49 and a score of eight. Eight faults there for Noah Franson and Piotr van der Groenjewel. Always tough, they've been drawn first in the jump off against the clock. No opportunity to watch anyone go to see how that shortened course is riding. And maybe just push the horse a little bit too much beyond the limits and finishing on a score of eight. But now it's the turn of Ireland. First of two to battle it out against the clock for the Irish here in Mechelen. Lauren Adams and the 10-year-old Sleeve Bloom, Bella Rose. She won the Grand Prix earlier in the season in Salzburg. Now she looks to win it here in Mechelen. Well, the chance not gone, but she's given herself a mountain to climb if she is to win here this afternoon. Another fence going as well there for Lauren Adams. She's on a score of eight. Can she now get home quicker? than Noah Franson's time of 34.49. I don't think she can. I think Noah Franson's still gonna to be top of the order with two gone and she is. 37.41, another on a score of eight. 37.41 there for Lauren Adams and Sleeve Bloom, Bella Rose. That goes second, Noah Franson still leads on the eight in 34 49 so maybe it will be a clear that wins it here in mechelen this afternoon two gone six left to go another for the netherlands ireland finland sweden and there's two for germany this being the first and this pony is so quick Believe you me, if it leaves the fences standing, it will be hard to catch. Casino Royale, Raphael, Reichardt, Eisenhardt. Sets off at the gallop. Lucky through that double, you heard the rattle over the vertical out. This is very quick. Close to that fence. One to go. Is this the first double clear? It is, and it's for Germany. 34-27. And now the game is on. 34-27 and clear. Brilliant from Raphael Reichardt, Eisenhardt, and Casino Royale. We said it would be quick. And now the pressure is on the five still to jump off against the clock. Germany leading, Netherlands second, Ireland sit in third. What a round that was. Nail biting weight for Raphael. But on we go. They've claimed medals at Pony European Championships. They were winners in Herning, Eva Eden van Grunsven and Special Lady. to be another quick round one of the quickest first rounds that we saw maybe not as tight back to the vertical let's have a little look at the time landing here 25 in touch but now she has to gamble is she going to be quick enough it's going to be so close not quite double clear 36 49 and that goes into second 36 49 in clear for Eva Eden van Grunsven. 
and special lady. Sigh of relief from the German Raphael Reichardt Eisenhardt still leading with Casino Royale, but we're halfway through this jump off against the clock. Four still to go. Finland, Sweden, Germany, and this man for Ireland. He won the Grand Prix in Lyon. He's going to have to throw caution to the wind here if he's to win in Mechelen. Kian Dor, sparkling Lacamoire Joey, set off at the gallop. A stride out already down that line. Just steadies up into that double. Jumps out at the angle. Turn. Perfect from Kian Dor. Paddled over that Oxford, but leaves it standing somehow. The luck of the Irish with him here this afternoon in Mechelen. One to jump. Time to beat 34-27. He's clear, and he smashed it out the park. 31-98. And we've got Ireland now leading the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen. And my word, what a round from that young man. Almost two and a half seconds quicker. Kian Dor leads. 31.98, go and beat that. Three left to go, but he could have just won it there for Ireland in Belgium. That was tremendous. So, the first of those three remaining, you can see there the leaderboard, Kian Dor leading. Raphael Reichardt Eisenhardt second, Eva Eden van Grunsven in third. But this is for Finland. Vera Salmanen and Nero van der Buxtal. Seven strides between the first two fences. Direct line. Doesn't look quite as quick as Ireland's Kian Dor. But the turns are very smooth indeed. Gets a better stride to that Oxa. Lucky at the penultimate fence, 31.98 to beat. Not gonna quite catch Kian Dor. And the final fence goes as well, 33.28 and a score of four. 33.28, four faults for Vera Salminen and Nero. Van der Buxtal, it goes in to fourth. Two left to go, so Kian Dor is guaranteed a top three finish, a podium finish here in the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. But there's two to go. Second and third in the speed class yesterday. Can either of them go better and win here this afternoon. The penultimate in this jump off against the clock for Sweden here. This is Ellen Hammerstrom, Ocean Day AS. Big striding pony, a little bit of a wider line, but still gets the seven strides. Swings out a little bit wider there as well for the turn back to two. One to jump, but Kian Dor, who leads, was finishing about now. So not going to catch him, but uh, 35.46 and a double clear. 35.46 clear there. It goes into third for Sweden's Ellen Hammerstrom. Ocean Day AS. But there's one to go. The young lady from Germany in her final pony season. Second in the speed class yesterday. Can she finish with a bang here in Mechelen? Time to beat 31.98. Naomi Himmelreich and Red Star Optimus.
This looks quick already. Pony that loves to run and jump. Ah, oh, she had to adjust to get the distance into that double. But the pony not quite cooperating with Naomi Himmelreich. And the first part goes, which means it is Ireland that win here this afternoon. Kian Dor, Sparkling, Lackamore, Joey. These double clears guaranteed their position. Raphael Reichardt, Eisenhardt second. Ellen Hammerstrom third. Ava Eden van Grunsven in fourth. Finishing on the four, though. Naomi Himmelreich, 35.12. And she goes into the top six there. Sixth place finish for Naomi Himmelreich. But what an innovation it has been here, the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy for 2023, the season that started in Salzburg, went to Lyon, to Stuttgart, and uh, Herning as well. And the final, the big finish here in Belgium, in Mechelen of the 2023 edition of Jumping Mechelen. Well, don't go too far because the presentation is on the way in just a moment's time. But, of course, there's five-star action a little later this evening as well. The KBC Bank and Visa Curling Trophy five-star jump-off competition still to come. But the presentation is on the way with the winner of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen being Ireland's Kian Dor and sparkling Lacamore Joey.
Well, the volume increases here in the Christmas arena in Mechelen's Neckerhal as the winner of the Tau FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. Leg number two joins us, and it's Ireland's Kian Dor and sparkling Lacamoire Joey. Tremendous victory for the young man from Ireland. Still just 15 years of age, so 2024. Season still in ponies for Kian Dor. But I'm sure we'll be seeing that young man's name in the senior ranks very soon indeed. What a wonderful result for the young man from Ireland, Kian Dor. Representing Ireland, our winner, please step forward, Kian Dor. Proud moment. Sure, a memory that will live long for Kian Dor as he steps forward. It is a belangrijke internationale rubriek, and that vraagt natuurlijk om een hymne. Wil u dan ook, dames en heren, als u kan, gaan recht staan? A moment or two, we'll hear the national anthem of Ireland. Ireland winning the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. Congratulations to Kian Dor. What a moment for that young gentleman from Ireland. As the national anthem is played here in the Neckerhall of Mechelen. And an opportunity now for the sponsors, representatives from the organizing committee and representatives from the FEI to congratulate the winner of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy, Ireland's Kian Dor and sparkling Lacamoire Joey. What an effort from the young man who finishes in second. Germany second place on the podium. Raphael Reichardt, Eisenhardt and Casino Royale. Ellen Hammerstrom finishes in third, as she did in the speed class yesterday with Ocean Day AS. Fourth for the Netherlands, Eva Eden van Grunsven and Special Lady. Fifth, Finland's Vera Salminen and Nero van der Buchstal. And sixth. Germany's Naomi Himmelreich and Red Star Optimus. But great that these young riders get to take center stage here in Mechelen, competing alongside the world's very best in the top level of the sport with that five-star action to come later. But the winner of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here this afternoon, it is Ireland, sparkling Lacamoire Joey and Kian Dor.
Straffe gast en een straffe pony. Maar het houdt nog niet op voor de ponyruiters, want op een zaterdag springen zij hun finale. En uh, het is toch wel echt uitkijken naar hun prestaties op zaterdag met voor aanvang van de wereldbeker springen. We zien ze op zaterdag terug. U kan het hier volgen, u kan het online volgen.